right. Hey, okay, only a couple minutes. Calm down. It's good. We're it's here. It's 8.04 or 5.04 or 7.04 or 6.04 or 12.04 if you're in the UK. Sorry, we're four minutes late. I didn't know we were reporting the job. You didn't punch the clock, Tom. Four minutes, you're getting docked. You're gone. Damn it. Oh, well. Anyway, hey, everybody. What's okay, going on, so, man? So we're here. We're live. It's been a while. I'm here for all the... <laughs> we're fashionably late, damn it. And James Boyce, I love your profile picture, of course. With ELO, it's always been his background, and I know he messaged me about the, t the, the tickets for the show um, for ELO, this tour. Tom and I were talking the other night off the air how crazy they, they are, but um, I'm happy to say that I'll be going to the New York City show. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, James, Joseph, Christian, Kevin, Ellen, who else is here? Uh, Mike, we got music sound gear. It's been a while. I, it, it has been a minute, and you know, life life throws us some curveballs, man. And you know, we all can't go live. I, the, our 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 colleagues that get to go live all the time. I think it's great. It works for them. And we, yeah, we did it a lot once upon a time. We want to do it again, for sure. But hey, Josh, Josh is one Josh. of our supporters who recently got a two leg shirt that the MVP mailed him. So I'm glad that we got a shirt to Josh and. He's out there in California. Thanks for the support, Josh. Appreciate yes. it. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being here, buddy. Really appreciate it. And everybody, we, we appreciate how however long you've been supporting. New and old. Really appreciate it. Yes. Yes. So, again, we're here to, to, to take your comments, your questions, whatever you want to. Whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, Q&A, uh, General hey, and, Paul, anything. Uh, you know, uh, there's yeah. the MVP. Hello, Heidi. There the MVP and uh, our good buddy Harry. Harry, you have been warned. Do you know. not say anything about twice in a lifetime, damn it. No, we love you anyway, Harry. How you doing, brother? How you doing? It feels good Harry to does. do this again, man. It really does. I tell you, I tell you, it's been really great. Listen, we are getting so close to our 2K goal. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, Please do that while you're make, here. Just make yeah. more accounts. Make more Google accounts and just sign up and there get it go. that way. We're at 1,930. Yeah. Yep. Maybe when we get to 1,985, we'll have a party. Like, that's that's what we should just stop right there. We'll just once stop we there. To, yeah, once we get to 1,985, we'll just stop. We'll get to 1,985 and we'll play, and we'll play yeah. in the background. There you go. There you go. Henry is here. Hey, Henry. How you doing? Hey, Joe. Oh, anyways. Henry, who's got the the right uh, the right uh, avatar there, good good on you, buddy. Uh, anyways, MVP, glad you're here. Uh, thank you for everything that you do. Um, we, we you know we're very appreciative. Yes, and hit the thumbs up, please, if you're here. Smash that thumbs up. Anyways, so we were talking. Um, about uh, we we've got two shows lined up, right? Our next two shows are, are are lined up. We've got them booked for the most part, so we can't wait to wait to um, uh, get those out in the open. But um, this week we we got a show Thursday scheduled. Next week we got Wednesday scheduled uh, for you know with with guests, right? Yep. Uh, both returning, all oh, well, three returning guests actually. So uh, that's that's uh, going to be a lot of fun, and. Um, uh, you know, I, I guess we shouldn't give, a, give anything away. Not, not, just not, not just yet. Not just yet. Yeah. Yeah. Laura, if you go back into our, our channel back in 2021 and 2022, we went live. We did a series called Ranking the Tracks, which was live. Um, we did that for about a year. And then we did a, a one summer we did, I think it was 2022. We went live every Wednesday, you know, so um, we try to do it a little bit. Um. James says he hears Lawrence Juber's playing all of Back to the Egg in June in SoCal yeah. with Paul, with the Paul Tribute Band. Maybe I'm amazed. That. Somebody film and stream that, please. Yes. Absolutely. Um, yeah. 
Joe asks, he, uh, I thought the McCartney Legacy was going to be four or five volumes. Said it's only going to be three. We don't know that yet, Joe. Well, we don't know yet. Let's hold, yeah, hold, the, hold your horses on that one because, I mean, that's one of the things that we we, we talked to with uh, with Adrian and and Alan about during the fest. Listen, they're they're up for more than just three, okay? And that's why yeah. we say so. That's why we say when these books come out, please support and buy, purchase the books, whether it's the the audio or 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 the Kindle, Kindle version, or the actual book. Or buy like that yeah, one. Or buy the book. Please, because then that will encourage the 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 publicist to encourage you know to, to no. do more. Listen, you know? full full disclosure. Did we get copies of the book sent by those guys? Yeah, we did. But Tom and I individually, between the two of us, probably bought ten copies for friends and family. That, 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 no joke. That copy right there, I just I just I bought at the fest because right. I needed another one because I forgot my uh, my full my, disclosure. I mean, I I bought yeah. one for my dad. I bought one for the MVP. Yeah. I bought one for another friend. You know, yeah. so I bought another one for Tom. So yeah, were we given a copy of the book? Sure, we did. But we want to support these guys for sure for the work that yeah. they do. And exactly. our latest video, if you don't, uh, episode two forty one, as I spill my water. Great, thanks has a link for the Amazon US and UK pre-order links for the book. Uh, so it's there. If you haven't seen it, uh, but Adrian messaged me. He says that the pre-order blitz from the social media has been great. They've, 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 yes. they've done great business so far just on the pre-sale uh, of that. Yes. So um, that that's cool. So support that book. Christian asks, do you have any interest in seeing the Outlaw Music Festival with Willie Nelson, Bob Dylan, and Robert Plant? I have tickets for Bethel Woods. Um, I you would know, go see that. I'd, I'd go see that if I could. I mean, I've seen Bob a bunch of times now. Yeah. I would just, you know, I've, I've seen Willie Nelson before. I would love to see Willie Nelson live again. would love to see Billy uh, Bob Dylan live. I mean, yeah. And where is Bethel Woods uh, again? I think I have seen the uh, advertisement for this for this festival. I would go, but... But right now I'm in a position where I need to, I I can't you know You know where Bethel Woods is though, many. Tom, right? You know where Bethel no, Woods where is? is that? It's outside of Woodstock. It's basically okay. where Woodstock okay. was. Out outside ah. of it. It's okay. basically the Woodstock site, but not the actual yeah. site itself. Gotcha. gotcha. Up in up there in upstate New York. Um Harry Speed of Sound turns 48 tomorrow. What are your guys' favorite songs then? Well, I can't, up in certain territories, it was released today, March 25th, 1976. I saw it today on social media. So maybe that was a UK, US. I know um, Caitlin Larkin from the Beatles channel on Sirius um, posted that it was um, released today. Um, favorite songs from Speed of Sound, Tom? San Fairy Ann. Okay. That's, become, that's just become a favorite these days. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes it's, it's weird how that happens. You know, you listen to an album and then 10 years later you listen to it again and then you just, you know, you, you listen to a song that you didn't really give two shits about in the past, but then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, mm. I get it now. This song is great. But, but obviously I think Silly Love Songs is one of the most important singles songs that uh, in Paul McCartney's uh, career. Right. Um, she's My Baby, uh, The yeah. Note You Never Wrote. Of course, which yeah. Paul wrote, but Denny sang, which I think is a great track. Beware my love. Great. Um, for sure. Oh, Christian makes another great comment here. Elton's birthday today, 77. Favorite song. Well, how much time you got? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how much time we got? So many. Oh, man. El favorite not... song. What's your current favorite? What's your current favorite, Elton, Tom? Uh, I love Burn Down the Mission, Border Song. Those are. My you really like the that. early self-titled uh, tumbleweed. Self you, tumbleweed. I mean, I'll, you know. Um, I finally and, got you to warm yeah, up to side two yeah. of Madman Across the Water. You did. You did. Took I'm, you I'm a while for that. I'm, I'm thank you for that. Once it gets kind of like past, although I am a I am a big fan of Rock of the Westies. I am a big fan oh, of that one. Good but, record. But but you know we we talked about this. Not the biggest fan of Caribou. Um, but I, 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 you know, give it a shot is, grow, is, is growing on me as well. Yeah. Um, really, I, it's, it's hard to, the early Elton are so tremendously classic, Madman, Tumbleweed, all, everything. A favorite Elton song? God, I, I, it's so hard to pick. I mean, yeah. I mean, I feel like a bullet in the gun of Robert Ford is great. 
Blue Moves, James Boyce, is a great album. Um, Chameleon, I mean, that's a deep album cut. I love Chameleon. Uh, Ticking from Caribou has been one of my favorite for the last few years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Levon will probably always be my favorite. Um, but, uh, but you know, another one, Amarina. Discovered that while watching uh, Dog Day Afternoon. Yep. Um, because I, you know, I was watching, uh, I discovered the Al Pacino movies, you know, De Niro and Pacino before I discovered, yeah, where to, yeah. I mean, tell me the connection. Just, yep. You know, when I heard Anne Marina, I went out, I immediately ran out and I bought, uh, bought that album. You did. I mean, 77. Yeah. I mean, God bless. Uh, so many great deep, deep album cuts though from Elton. I mean, just yeah. fantastic stuff. Salvation from Hunky Chateau, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's. Oh, perfect, yeah. Come on, High Flying Bird. You take yeah. the album cuts, and you've got a great album from Elton. You know, it's tremendous. Pinky, I'm, Dixie I Lily. Gonna, I think I'm going to kill myself. It's another one I enjoy. Uh, Texas Love Song is one you're never going to hear. You know, that's... You know, nope. You won't know. But um, good stuff all around. Good yeah, stuff. Skyline Pigeon. Yeah, happy birthday, Elton. 77. Um yeah. Very underrated, and I'm really happy to say that I got to see him on his farewell goodbye Yellow Brick Road tour from 2022. I'm um, so glad I, I went, yeah. You said Tom saw him as well, too? Um, yeah. Record Store Day, t April 20th, right? Or 27th? I, 20, I think it's 23rd. I think it's 23rd. I believe it's April um, 20th. Yeah, but uh, I think you might have to go back up and catch up on because once you got into the Elton John, we kind of skipped over a few. Yeah, things. let me go back because we we're just trying to keep up with it. We have we we don't go live that often, so the comments are. I know. <laughs> um, Brooks, I still need yeah. to get Lucas McCartney books of music his ideas. Yes. A uh, hardcover or paperback, it doesn't matter, Brooks. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, buddy. He's got so he's got volume two of that coming out, and he's also got another book just on Band on the Run coming out, yeah. and. He, Luca, will be back on two legs for volume two of his Music as Ideas book and also the Band on the Run book. So Luca has been a recurring guest and will be back on our show. Absolutely. Um, James, you got to get on that, man. Hold on. Where is it? Show the comment. There we go. Why it's not one. So James Boyce said a few minutes ago, he has to finish uh, Legacy Volume 1 before Volume 2 comes out. It's so bad I haven't. Welcome. What are you waiting you've for? You've got time. You, you, you've got time. I mean, the volume two will come out in December. So, yeah, you know, all it takes is, a, you know, a couple pages a day. You'll finish it. Guy I work with says try for 10 a day. 10 pages a day. Yeah. There you go. Um, Love how you guys talk up London Town and Back to the Egg, both underrated. Do you have any info? Yeah. No, we don't. No, that's That's no. been the age-old question for years and, and, now. And, 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 Josh, if we did... Honestly, if if you're like say like you're an insider, the way you stay an insider is keeping your mouth shut, you know. So even if we did, we wouldn't tell you because, <laughs> you know, we don't know nothing stuff. anyway. Though we're just yeah, a, you know we're yeah. just two you yeah, know we, exactly we're just two fans that you know that talk McCartney. So anyway, uh, no. April twentieth. I yeah, thank, thank you, you MVP. You. Um. You, Music sound gear. Do you guys buy SHM CDs? If you do, do you really notice a better sound quality than normal CDs? Tom, I don't. I think I have the. Uh, I have a couple. I have I have a the uh, John Coltrane's a Love Supreme. Um, is is that not that one? Is that the are they talking about the gold ones? Yeah. So I don't have any of the gold. Then then then, then no. Then I don't have any of the gold uh, CDs. Found this at the fest for ten yeah. bucks two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Those those go for a mint on eBay. As soon as one of those things pop up on eBay, I mean, they can go for fifty, now, sixty to a hundred, hundred dollars a piece, right, Tom? What's that? So, yeah. uh, like, yeah. so yeah. if yeah. we had a hundred thousand dollar sound system, maybe we'd hear the right. difference in these. I don't. I don't. Oh, that's the key. That's the key right there for the audio files. You know what I mean? Or you know? Or, yeah, you're right. If you want to, if you want to hear the difference. The more you spend on your system, that's when you're gonna know. If right. you've got like a thousand, a twelve hundred, fifteen, fifteen hundred dollar, you know, turntable, um, you know, you've you've got you know tens of thousands of dollars in speakers and receivers. 
that's when you're gonna know that's when you're gonna notice a difference yeah um laura i lived in liverpool for two years hon yeah yeah there you go there you go um yes we'll have them on our channel yes we will absolutely yes thank you mpm uh um that was the moment the most my most re uh, recent video on my channel was a little chat with a buddy of mine over at njit on yes so thank you for that um no 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 info yet partner oh and again if we did we wouldn't tell you that's right um, here, here's the thing just be on the lookout for any kind of like weird cryptic message oh god I yeah mean, you know you know what I, you know what i mean um when he released new he he would put just like uh you know words up on very on cryptic the, yeah york or, or whatever like that and um and then you know egypt station had some weird uh social media postings so be on the lookout once you start seeing some weird social media postings maybe you remember like seeing when when egypt station was dropping partner we saw like the little railroad yeah. icon thing yes. we were like what the hell yeah. is this remember that right yeah yeah um <laughs> i'm curious to hear your favorite ringo songs up ah. Step lightly, oh my my, six o'clock, good night Vienna, uh, anything from Roto Gravure, you know, I, I love all that stuff. So I guess on my volume, my, my uh, can why you do you me? guys get on my partner and his volume and his sound? I can hear him fine. Can anybody else not hear me well? Please tell us now. No, yeah, let me know because he sounds fine to me. I mean, my, my volume on my headset's at 100%, so... Yeah, and he's... Um, anyways. Uh, Tom's Tom at, a low... at a lower volume. Well, really? can you, you, can lower my, you can lower mine on your side, can't you? Let me go look. I, I mean, I, you, can, you, can ra you can raise my volume at... On, Christian uh, says, yeah, see, you sound fine. You, I guess see it. Huh. All right, thank you. It is Andy's sound not okay. I'm not okay now. Fanabula with that. I mean, I got the headset on. It, on the, he sounds uh, fine. Joe says he can hear us. Uh, Ellen says you can hear us. We're all good. All right. Turn the volume up if you can't hear the man. And if I'm too loud, then turn me down. Shit. Oh. Uh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Tom's volume. Okay, is... well, all right. There are times. Listen, there are times where our our volumes will be different. I, I, you know, I understand that. That 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 sometimes. Robot. Yeah, I know, Patrick. There's like there's some kind of weird thing with my mixer here where sometimes it sounds like I'm auto tune speaking. Why I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I work on it. I can give you all this echo, but then. I'll sound like I'm talking from WCBS FM 101.1, where we'll play the oldies and hits. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that was really cool. We didn't get yeah. that, but uh, it was it was cool. I got the die. Well, we got we did you we didn't get it in that initial promotion. No, remember when the no. initial you know yeah. No, I did. However, get the McCartney th McCartney three Imagine die. So uh, yes, Josh, it does. I can't no, stand that no. song. I hate it. Fa Fa you is fantastic song. Fa you is fantastic. Cringe. And you know what? And what's wrong? I mean, what's wrong with sounding contemporary? Uh, I, I, you know, to me, to my ears, I think it's a great, great track. I mean, we want them to sound. Look, look I, I think, I think, um, Egypt Station was a perfect mix of, of, of retro and contemporary sounding McCartney. In my agree, opinion. agree. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. I mean, damn, we try here. Ollie, what? what, what, what? what? Ollie, where does where, 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 where? Probably Tony. Um, 
oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah uh someone asked about uh info on uh volumes of uh, future volumes of uh yeah yeah uh Zhao. Yes. 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 um yes. No, uh, yes. only that volume two is coming and we're gonna get a couple of more but we don't know for sure yet yeah um yeah i mean they want to do they want to do you know Mac Macca's entire career you know so again that's why we say support by the book and 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 that'll happen. Mm -hmm. you know, what else is cooking? Support, support physical media in every way possible. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. One of my yeah. The production's tough on that one. Well, that's it really, it loud, really is. That's, that's yeah. It's during the Loud Wars. I mean, every CD. Every CD at that time was was just, I mean you pop it in you can have it at you know two you know and it, and you know it sounds like a hundred and here's the telltale here's how you know when you play it the opening track dance tonight you think it's a drum doing tch, 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 tch. Yeah. it's not a drum it's his foot foot yeah that's how that's how amplified it was it was it's his damn foot tapping <laughs> which is crazy. All right, hopefully I, don't, I hopefully I don't sound too metallic anymore. I'm working on my mixer here. It's, it was a hundred dollars. What do you want for free? You know, for for free content here. Um. <laughs> yep. Oh, Henry has just a, uh, earlier in the chat. I'm sorry. Um, thoughts on high, high, high. Love it. Yeah. Great rocker. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I got to see him do it live. Yep. I think it's a fun I think it's a fun track. Again, you know, I, I wish he would just admit that he's saying body gun. Uh you know. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Yeah, body gun, polygon, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um anybody watch yeah. two forty one, our most recent episode? And anybody check that out yet where we just did the video interview from nineteen eighty with Tim Rice? Yeah. Anybody see that yet? Watch it. So that does that does not look like Vic Spinetti or whatever. Uh, no, right? no, it did not. At the end there. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it yes, did Henry, not. Look that was that was foot tapping on Blackbird. Certainly was. Yeah. I think um, after now and then, Ollie, things are going to be quiet for a little while. Um, thank you. Yeah, it was nice to revisit that and do a do a vid video interview again. It was. Josh, yep. how do you, how do you, do you, Josh? When let me ask, do you, um, do you watch the YouTube or do you listen on the audio platforms? Good question. I'm curious. Good I'm question. Curious how, how and then I'm going to ask our, our viewers another question after that. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Question for uh, those watching: We about a month ago moved our start time to drop on YouTube to 7 p.m. Eastern. Do you like that? Did you like the earlier slot time of 10 a.m.? Do you like the later the, the, the drop time? Curious what you all think about that. Or does it not matter when you watch it when you watch it? Yeah, yeah. Just curious. Josh watches on YouTube. Music Sound Gear watches on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Later drop for Matthew. Matthew. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew. Yeah, hi, hi, hi is great. However, yeah. when when it comes when it comes to high high high, I think I would have put when it, when it comes to uh, Wings Greatest, I think I would have taken that one out and put and listened to what the man said. Agree. Agree. Um, Henry, are you guys looking forward to the Four Beatles biopics? About time we get a proper Hollywood biopic, and it's directed by the same guy who made Amer American Beauty. So I have hope. Yeah, I have hope. I'm living in hope, living in hope, hmm. living in hope. Um, yeah, listen, Sam Mendes, I think he's a fantastic director. I love his 1917 film, and um, I, I, you know, if he's a Beatle fan. I mean, uh, maybe he'll do a good job. I mean, I'm going to save, save my, you know, thoughts for when I uh, see the film. And I, how? I'll tell you this. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I mean, it's just like if he, what, what's it like he drops the first one? What if that's like a flop? 
Is, are the other three going to come out then? You know, I'm, I, it's just really weird. I'm very curious if he's going to produce these like Peter Jackson produced Lord of the Rings, where he shot all three right. movies at the same time, but then spent Four. a year on all of them individually for post. Yeah. Um, I'm curious yeah. if that's how he's going to do it, or they're going to just take multiple years to do all four films. I don't know. Um, James liked earlier because he's in the UK, but he watches it regardless. Thank uh, you, James. Okay, thank you, um, James. Josh asks about the Man on the Run doc. Um, we think maybe yeah. end of the year? Yeah, yeah, thinking end of the year. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, we got a little information during the fest, but again, you know, we can't say anything about it. Yeah. People are trolling Tom. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I've dealt, <laughs> deal, dealt with it before. I'll deal with it again. No big deal. Um, um, yeah. Same here, Lynette. What time? I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing an echo now. I, I hear myself coming over on onto your side or whatever. You do? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe that's better now. Yeah. Okay, now I don't hear anything. Okay. 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 Yeah, <laughs> now it's fine. Weird. Anyways. Uh, Listen, we're not in the next room here, folks. We're like half of, you know, we're, we're in the middle of the country and on the East Coast, you know. Yeah. Come on. Anyways, if we miss your question or, or comment, print it again just in case. Um, because we're, you know, oh, now I'm hearing it again. Oh, come on. Hold on. I I clicked on reduce reduce echo. Maybe that'll change. Okay. Yeah, it sounds uh, fine. Uh, N O, but I'll stream it. <laughs> That's I'm kind of worried about the record store day this year for me because of the fact that why. There's there's only two participating in 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 Michigan and I haven't oh. been to those store I haven't been to those stores yet. Um, so well, I'm call up to, call up your yeah. call your guy up at the uh, in Groove. Calm down. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get what I want eventually. <laughs> or if I can help you and I can get two copies of it, I'll get one for you. All right, well, I appreciate that. I actually am looking forward to Record Store Day because there are some really good titles that I'm looking forward to getting. Yeah, yeah. What's we that, got the Caribou. Caribou 50th anniversary yeah. double LP with a demo version of Snookeroo on there. We've got the Mind Games EP sampler in two different colored formats. Yeah, I, I'm actually I'm excited for this one for the first time in a while. Might have to get up early and queue in line. Mm -hmm. When did I give up on Ringo albums? Um, probably after Liverpool Eight. I like it. I mean, I have postcards from Paradise and Why Not and a few of those other ones, and there's like one or two tracks I like from them. And I really like the first EP that he did, Zoom In, Zoom Out. I thought that was really good. But after that, not so much. Get rid of that bottom comment. I don't see anything. Tell Mayo. Get rid of him. Oh, okay. Well, Clown? Yeah. Gone. Gone. Thank you. All right. <laughs> um, the George stuff on Record Store Day, that's Electric Sound and Wonderwall. The Wonderwall. No Wall. interest. Yeah, no it, interest. It's, it's the, the design, when you when you play the, the LP, the, 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 it makes movements and stuff like that. I mm -hmm. forgot exactly what, that, what that's called. Yeah, Ken, oh, Ken Michaels was telling us about that on the latest things we said today. Of course, we've heard the Rupert Bear, the Rupert yeah. the Bear track. Of course, that's the that's the Rupert soundtrack that Wings was putting together in '79. Um, yeah, again, all part of that elusive back to the egg archive that could come out. Um, yeah, we'll see. The you know, I'm very skeptical. You know, I'm excited about biopics, but I'm also kind of like I kind of like the fact that they have not done a real big proper film because we're in biopic heaven yeah. now elton elvis bohemian rhapsody kind of like that the beatles have not been touched so i'm a little right a little skeptical and i've said before it's just like okay they're gonna they're gonna do this in the beatles in their own words their own perspectives and i was like 
well, we, we've already got that with the Beatles anthology. You know, we don't need it <laughs> no. in, in this film in this film form. I, I you know, I, I'm going to watch them, of course, but I kind of wish in a way they wouldn't do them. I agree with you. I agree with you. <clears throat> yeah, but April, another another month. But they're, hey, we're getting that mind game sampler, and I cannot wait for that. Yes. Yes. Cannot yeah, wait. But I'm way. sure the Mind Games mix is going to be the same one that we got on Give Me Some Truth from 2020. Would you agree? Yeah. Because certain tracks from Mind Games were on that. You had um, Mind Games. You had um, Out the Blue, I believe, was on Give Out Me Some Truth. Blue. So though, um, they've already kind of gotten that, that, that upgraded sound. So I don't know if they'll be any different, you know, four years later. But we'll see. Yes, I have, Brooks, and uh, those of you who aren't aware, that is going to be a movie um, and worth, really worthwhile going to see. Um, Timothy um, Chalamet, Chalamet. Chalamet, Chalamet is portraying Bob Dylan in like Greenwich Village, early 60s, and has he's nailed the part down perfectly just from the images that I saw. It looks fantastic. Yeah. And, I, and, and I know that, Joe. I mean, I get that. That's why I'm saving my thoughts for when they do come out. However, you know, with the, with the track record of these past, you know, beat or not beat up, but music biops, I mean, uh, they're not all factual. And they'll probably, you know, hopefully won't have that same formula with these Beatle ones. But still, you know, none of them, I've never really been in love with any of these except for maybe Backbeat. I never really cared for any of these uh, bios. Uh, Nowhere Boy was... I liked Nowhere Boy, even though Paul said it wasn't really true. I liked Nowhere Boy. I liked Backbeat from 94, and that was about it. Um, yeah. yeah, Kevin M., that 2002 remix of Mind Games is the gold standard for listening to Mind Games uh, on CD. I would agree with that. Yeah. The Hours and the Times, the, the story about John and Brian, eh. Yeah. Hello, Thank you. Uruguay. Uh, hello, wow. Geraldo from Uruguay. Uh, B side call. I want you to fly. Yeah, Why? from yeah, chaos. Absolutely. Yeah, of yeah. course we love it. Yeah. Of course we do. From Uruguay. What time is it in Uruguay, Gerard Gerardo? Not going to ask Google. Um, factually, do you think there hasn't been a new archive series releases or George remixes and releases because the market and the audience is too niche? Or is it a matter of the time and resources it takes for them to get made? No, I'll tell you exactly what it is. It's the cost. It's the price. The George Camp has been consistently the highest selling price points of of all, of all five camps: Beatles and then the, and then the solo Beatles. Yeah, we have a thousand reasons why sitting on our floors right now for one yeah. of those for one of those things. <laughs> If you bring the prices down a little bit, they'll they'll sell. But who's buying these things? It, it is, but you know that that's 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 true on both accounts because it is very niche. You know, there's there's only certain people buying these. They're, you know, and when they're gone, they're gone. Wings live over Europe. The lot of the Wings live box. The old things must pass. Which I think you can still get, Tom. Right? Can you still get the Uber you, Crate? You you can still get the Uber Crate on GeorgeHarrison.com. You can for what two years later. Gonna be three? Yes. Yes. Matthew, the gnomes are right in the other room. They're there. I look at them every night. <laughs> Josh says he's a Paul guy, but he don't think the whole Paul versus John solo career is necessarily fair. If John was focused as on music during the seventies, I think he would have released much more great music. Agree. Well, I mean, I, I mean, Pasic Ono Band is great. That album is great, hands down. It might not the re-listening value might not be high no. on it, but it's it's it, it's great. I think you know, Imagine I think is great. Um, I don't know if I necessarily agree with you on that one, Josh. But um, I uh, just John has so little music to to go back to. He's only got a handful of albums when you think about it. So they can tire quickly. And Tom always, Tom's always said this, that, that you know, um, John doesn't have a whole lot of rockers in his solo catalog. They're much more ballady, 
based or they're or they're deep. I mean, he's got a couple of rockers sometime in New York City. There's a couple, but he yeah. didn't. John yeah. always likes to point that out, and he's right that John doesn't really rock out a whole lot in his solo career. Um, and he was focused on music through '75. He was. And if yeah. you listen to Sean Lennon. If you listen to Sean Lennon in the Now and Then documentary, he never stopped playing. He never stopped doing it. He always had music. He always had a guitar going around. He just wasn't part of the machine of promoting singles and touring and doing appearances and albums. That's all. Yes, Brooks, we do. Since yeah. 2010 and counting. Yes, we do. Yeah. And Laura, um, yeah, she, she mentions the, the Nowhere Boy, the Aaron uh, Taylor Johnson that that the the fact that he is playing James Bond has not been confirmed. So it's oh, not, not confirmed. That not is, confirmed. It's, okay. It's a it's a rumor. It's just a rumor. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Again, if you guys if you guys are new here, you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that thumbs up, and we really appreciate it. The Dakota demo is getting the maltreatment and released as a set. Yeah, click, ship, buy, done. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Special anything from the camp. Anything from John or Paul or George. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Not, not anytime soon. Eventually. 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 We'll get it, yes. When, 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 when we can laugh at ourselves again, because we can't, you know... You know you can't look at anything anymore now and say anything anymore now. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I mean, if, if you're not a fan of it, you don't have to buy it. Nope. <laughs> Listen, I don't listen to Sometime in New York City all that often, but there are times if I'm in a John mode, I'm going to put on a couple of tracks that up. Start to finish? No, I don't think I've listened to it because I ain't listening to the... I'm not listening to We're All Water and Born in a Prison and Angela. I'm not doing it. But Sunday Bloody Sunday, Look of the Irish, New York City, you know, even Attica State, I think is a good track. But, you know, I mean, are you listening to Sometime in New York? Are you getting tomorrow on your CD in your car and putting that on? No. I know you're not. You're right. You're right. We'll see. But hey, Mind Games is on the horizon, and uh, well, that's listen, great. I mean, it, it it just got to reissue the whole box set. I mean, his whole can his whole canon of albums was just released not even ten years ago. No, longer than that. Well, it's been long. Twenty ten, buddy. Yeah. Uh, no, and on vinyl, I mean, I mean, the stuff on vinyl, I thought oh, it was 14. 2015 was the vinyl box, yeah. 15, yeah, it was 15, yeah. 2015 was the vinyl box. 2010, on the seven, when he turned seven, when he would have been 70, they did a reissue, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably, Tony, when we get the archive. But for now, you've got to stick to your UK pressing only of Off the Ground, which I bought for about $10 in 1995. <laughs> Which you get, which you see for about two hundred now, or, or at a fest. Oh, here. Speaking of off the ground, let me show you something. Well, we see him. We see him holding the album cover up there. Joe says now there's a slight echo in his mic. Come on. All right. What do we got this, there? What's that? This is from Bolivia. Is that a twelve inch or is that a pressing? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. From like I said, uh, Bolivia. Flip it, flip, flip, flip. Wow, is that a new acquisition? You could say that. Uh, I have, I got it last month, I think. Well done. But, uh, yeah, but I mean, the, the the cost was really low, so can't complain there. But uh, EMI, you know, uh, yeah, e uh, EMI, uh, EMI, as yeah. John used to call them. Yeah. So. So yeah. You won that or just bought it? Yeah, just uh, it was you know a couple bucks, so I picked it up and said, "Why not?" There you go. <laughs> That's a good score. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about press to play. We don't know. Yeah. Yep. I I like Rupert the Bear, and we all stand together. I, I tend to enjoy We All Stand Together as well. 
again, it's not something I'm going to play over and over again. Yeah, and there's the echoes back, but um, sorry about that, people. I don't hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it was it was released, but it was the B sides, Josh. So like, kicked down, kicked around no more, and I can't imagine oh. they. You 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 also had to get the complete works as well. I mean, which was you can get uh, from the UK or or Japan markets. Yeah, it was actually released in Holland first. It was was where it actually yeah. it was, it was it came out there first. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, the CD is pretty cheap, but the vinyl, you, I see, I've seen it at Fest now for 150. I'm like, huh, I paid ten dollars yeah. for that 25 years ago. Yeah. I don't think so. Huh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, that that that's gone. That's that's not even worthy of a comment. Um, High in the Clouds is still is still in the works. Thank you, Joseph. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. Her, her stuff, the stuff she did on Double Fantasy was probably the best stuff she ever did. Saying that the stuff she did on Sometime in New York City is better than We All Stand Together. Have a nice day, Joe. <laughs> okay. Walking on Thin Ice, not a good track. I don't think so. That's the Hamish, Hamish Stewart and McCartney um, collaborator, you know, which which they worked on for a little bit, and you can hear a little yeah. bit of that on a. If you watch the Moving On documentary from '93, you hear a little bit of that. I I think. Um... Well, so then, then the only Hamish McCartney co-write is uh, that's been officially released then is First Stone, then I think. Correct. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Joe. I mean, I I I like the the Yoko stuff on, uh, on Sometime in New York City as well. Better than we all stand together. No. Okay. Just want to make sure we're on the same page there. But, uh, but I like it. I like it, though. Did we see Paul on the Roger Daltrey show? I did not. Did you? No. And what show? Where? Where, where, where was it? Oh, uh, in, in the UK. Okay. I saw pictures. Oh, I didn't and, see you. Yeah. So I got, uh, got uh, um, uh, Facebook messenger, messenger from, uh, from uh, Joan... Uh, this morning, saying that she got tickets to go see uh, Paul at the uh, Jimmy Buffett She's Buffett's going. Tribute. She's going to. Of she's course, going. she's going she's to going. it. She's going. So, of course, uh, she is. Yeah, yeah. On my birthday, April 11th. Doggone it! Wish I could go, but oh well. <laughs> Yolo, brother. Go. Yeah. Do we think John was becoming Paul esque in the 80s? Because Double Fantasy was less edgy and more sweet makes you wonder. Do you mean that he was becoming more like Paul where he was writing songs about family, home, and children and things like that? Probably. Because if you listen to Double Fantasy, a lot of what that album is is, you know, stuff that Paul was singing about and writing about for years, and now here is John doing it. Um, I don't I wouldn't say Paul esque, I just think John was maturing as a writer. And and he was coming into he was coming into you know adult you know obviously you know past adulthood but he was just maturing and I do think he was coming to terms with writing contemporary AOR you know middle of the road type stuff. Now Patrick, uh, April eleventh at the Hollywood Bowl in California, they're having a tribute uh, concert for for Jimmy Buffett. And and Paul McCartney is kind of I think I guess you can say it, the headliner uh, for the show. I mean, there's going to be a lot of other big acts there, like um, uh, the Eagles are going to be there, Jackson Brown's going to be there. So look it up. It's uh, the concert for Jimmy Buffett on April 11th. Hmm. Um, let's see here. 
Um, Have you listened to all of... Uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Was never a huge fan of Pipes of Peace, but it's growing on me now. Through Our Love is just stunning. One of his top five ballads. What do you guys think? And So Bad reminds me of a girlfriend. Yes, yes, and yes. Keep giving it a listen there, Josh. It is an awesome album. I know. Uh, it, it's, it, it's, uh, yeah, no, it's on the bottom half of, uh, <laughs> of for me <laughs> in Paul's career. Listen, I mean, that was like, you know, you know, uh, uh, say, 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 so bad. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I watched those videos um, in the early 80s. But, the uh, you know, listening to the album now, like, you know, you know hey, hey, uh, is, um, come on. Um, it's, you know. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean. Okay, the man is fine, but I I don't think it's you know like say say say, or even the girl is mine, which is corny as hell. But listen, I I don't think Pipes of Peace is, is his best uh, album. If you're listening to like you're not going to seek out the man or hey hey. If you're listening to Pipes of Peace collectively as an album, you'll listen to it, but you're not going to go seek it out. I'm not trying to say it's his man. I have sentimental attachment to it, and I like Pipes of Peace a lot. I do. But you can. Definitely tell that George Martin wasn't as tough on him as uh, no tug of war. Tug of war you know? No, that's a great question. I really wish there was. Which was only a sound check song on the '93 live album "Paul Is Live," which Tom just did an episode with his a co co host at Talk More Talk on the "Paul Is Live" album, and I think that's one of his finest right. sound check songs. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Rupert got to yeah. three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, well, what was I going to say? We do too. Yeah, I, to I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh. oh. Yeah, but he was into... Exactly. And I, Joe, I agree with you on that one, partner. I mean, you can tell. Listen, you know, you watch McCartney on the Desert Island Classics listening to Beautiful Boy. He knows. He knows. It breaks my heart. Yeah. It is, but it's an album, as Tom says often, you, 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 you know, you, you can't listen to it a lot. Paul wrote about family long before John. True. George Martin only liked four tracks from the original Tug demos. A lot of those leftovers are on pipes, but he loves them all anyway. Mm. What else is cooking? Anybody going to any concerts lately coming up? Yeah. 54 people here. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. He, he, Gerardo had mentioned asked this earlier. We missed it. I like that film too. I should have mentioned this one. I, I that's an I like it. And it does nothing for me. It's funny. Michael Lindsay Hogg directed it, so it's got a little bit of cred. Okay, so there's a little history there. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good. No, but there are, it's enjoyable. It's in, uh, there's parts of it I enjoy. Yes, they took a lot of liberties, but it, I thought Aiden Quinn did an okay McCartney. Jared Harris portrayed an excellent John Lennon. He's probably one of the better actors who have portrayed Lennon on film. Uh, other than the guy that was John Lennon in um, John and Yoko, A Love Story, which I believe his name was Mark McGann. I think his name was. was the, and I think he played Lennon on Broadway, too. Uh, he was a good Lennon, but Jared Harris, who's a wonderful actor, he's been in. He was on Mad Men. He was in the, uh, the Crown. He, you know, he played Lennon very good. Oh yeah, Barry Manilow. Yeah, baby. Is, is your phone on or something like that, or do you have this on the screen, or because there should be a reason why I I'm, I can hear myself. No. Do you have uh, another window open? Uh, nope. Do you have the Facebook, op Facebook mm -hmm. tab open? You can hit mute mute on Facebook. I don't have Facebook okay. open, brother. All right. I mean, I'm not Facebook. I'm sorry, YouTube. I don't have that open either. All right. Um, let's see something. All right. 
George told Paul to walk with Nigel Godrich on chaos, and Nigel was hard on Paul. The results were yeah, exactly one of. <laughs> Boyle Crisis, Paul doing punk. Of course we know Boyle Crisis. Rick the Bliker, whatever he says. Yeah. I mean, they'll definitely be on the Back to the Egg uh, archive set. No, Boyle Crisis will be on London Town. Yeah, yeah. Because it was recorded in 77. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Trying to catch up on comments from up below. We haven't done this at all. Crowd. James saw Crowded House. I wanted to say he saw Crowded House in June, but nothing else. And he saw Justin Hayward last week. James, how was he? Did he just, did he do, obviously he did Moody stuff. Did he do some of his own stuff? Was it just solo? Did he have a band with him? Uh, I know that uh, Rick Wakeman made the rounds here last week in the uh, New York area. I did not get a chance to see him, but I've seen Rick a bunch of times. And uh, that's his final tour of the U.S., actually. Those of you wow. that are, you know, the, you Yes fans out there. And if you are a Yes fan, we got some great news today <laughs> that in May we're getting the Uber Deluxe set of the 1994 CD Talk. Two LPs, four CDs. I yeah, saw I it. I didn't, did, you, did you hear about it, Tom? I, I saw it. I was going to send you the link, but I'm like, he already knows. <laughs> Didn't know it was coming out. I saw Burning Shed and Cherry Red are doing it. Two LPs, four CD set. I think it was eighty. It was about a hundred bucks. And thank you, Affirm. And that was a instant click ship. Comes out on the twenty fourth of May. Trevor Rabin's last album with Talk coming out in May. God, I I was I could have done cartwheels when I saw that got announced. <laughs> um, Mike. I'm sure we'll be at the same show. That's my fellow New Jersey resident there, Mike Narr, who I saw at the Beatles Symposium in Monmouth. So we'll see you there, Mike. Should we answer that? Well, listen, we, our, our next two shows are booked. Okay, so we got a, one guest for, we're recording this Thursday with a guest. It may or not be with one of the authors of that book behind me. Maybe, I don't know. And then the following week, we're doing a show with maybe the two authors of this book. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Can't, can't confirm yeah, or deny. Can't, can't yeah, we cannot confirm or deny. So, so our next two shows are, are booked, and um, that'll get us. To, uh, that'll get us through the last of uh, March. And as you all know, yeah. we take the first weekend off of the month, but we might go live again early uh, on that day just to give you some more content because we're not doing a new show. Yeah. Uh, but we'll do that. Be. State Theater, see you there. Also, the Bergen Pack two nights later. Um, yes, which is the best version, in my opinion, of Pretty Little Head was the remix by Julian Mendelssohn, who was a guest on Two yes. Legs several years back. Yes, yes. Go back if you want to hear from Julian Mendelssohn, who had a cr crazy career, fantastic yeah. career. Um, scroll down in the videos, or you can go to the playlist, and you can see what what is he under on the playlist. He um, would be under um, musicians or uh, producers, anyway. I something. Yeah. It's, it's there. It's there. Yeah. It's it's there. Yeah, you can you you can find uh, our interview yep. with Julian Menison, co-producer of Off the Ground. Correct. And people don't know that Julian Mendelssohn co co-produced Off the Ground. We talk about that. We talk about his, uh, mix, you know, mixing that he did in the mid '80s with Paul as well. Yep. yep. Um, very different arrangement of "Girlfriend" from Michael Jackson to, and if you ask uh, the yeah. Queen, Kid O'Toole, she prefers the Michael's version of that. Yes. Um, pretty little Verdi. Yeah. Well, it would have been a little bit different because the, the vocal is a little different. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and and then you know it, they. The video adds that little snippet of uh, she's leaving home. Right, which you wouldn't have done. You, know, you hear that at the beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Love the talk out. Yeah, talk is one of the best ones um, from the from underrated album of Yes Is Canon. Um, MJ's Girlfriend. It did. Yeah, there was no middle eight for Michael's version of Girlfriend. Have there been any? Well, uh, Mike, you were jo you joined us a little bit late. Um, somebody asked this earlier. 
we don't have an announce. We don't have any updates yet, other than it's we think maybe the end of twenty twenty four. Yeah, and that's about it. We do know somebody that knows, but as a good person, he doesn't tell us because he wants. He can't. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Uh. No, but that's how that that's how that stuff works. If you want to have the information and you want to be trusted, you can't tell people. Nope. <laughs> tried, Joe. I tried. Yeah. You said I tried. Never heard back. Yeah, yeah. We reached out to him on on, on Twitter. Yep. Or X we tr- or whatever the hell you want to call it on his uh, on his uh, website. Yeah. We tried. Hey, Bill. Hello, Mister Leary. Yeah, we love the book cover. We love it. Red and blue. Now and yeah. then. We do, yes, but uh, but we yeah, we're definitely going to... So I think we're going to try. Even though we don't drop new episodes the first weekend of the month, we will be, be making an attempt to go live earlier in the day on those first Saturdays of the month, say around you know, 11, 12 o'clock Eastern time for an hour or so, right. just to give you some, uh, just to see what's new. Yeah. And in the effort of going live more often, which we haven't been able to do the last year or so, that's Tom and I talked about that off the air. And look for that starting um, at the beginning of the month. Mm. Does it bother you guys yes. when Paul does preaching practices on off the ground? All good causes come, but for some reason it bothers you. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, obviously, we're all entitled to our opinions, but then again, you know, he's he's doing now what he's so famously saying about John and Yoko. And too many people. In yeah, your yes. partner, yeah. partner, you're spot on with that. Mike, I did not go uh, last week to see Rick and Montclair. I, I've seen Rick do this show three or four times. And I just I had a lot going on last week, so I could not see Rick in Montclair. But I know that it was a good show, and I know people went. If you went, I hope you enjoyed it. Rick Wakeman is always a fun entertainment of uh, night of um, not only music, but he's a comedian too, and he's he is a legend in the UK. Most of most Yanks don't know that, but he is he is just a great entertainer in the UK and funny. I really wish that Rick would bring a band when he came to the U.S., but he just can't he can't swing it. But uh, Mike, I hope you went and enjoyed it. Um, what do you think? There's no pollinator regions. Um, no, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Henry, Tom, and I are not the kind of fans that get into the Beatles' kids' careers. We have no interest in it. We're not really into it at all. Um, some people love chronicling yeah, and following yeah. the kids' careers of what they're doing, what they're releasing. Other than Julian and a handful of songs, I'm not really into the Beatles' kids' careers. Except the Ringo's son has been the drummer for The Who since 96 and killing it. Uh, yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, I I, I mean, I, I know I, I had Sean Lennon's first album when that first came out, and I thought it was okay. Um, you know, I, I, I tried to listen to some of these, uh, these, these songs from, from James, and they just don't uh unfortunately you know have any impact on it's their kids i mean yeah yeah. we're not kids anymore (laughs) i know but they say beetle kids and they're like they're like grown adults who are like 40 and 50 or older now you know yeah um i mean look at julian he's 60 i am mike big big (laughs) Yes, check out my uh, recent interview on my own channel for a little in- interview I did on Yes with a friend of mine. Ooh, there's a faster version of Riding to Vanity Fair. Well, well, listen, yeah. So when you watch that, because when Chaos and Creation came out, it came out with the, it came out came with a DVD. Um, so when you watch that DVD, um, you'll you'll you know when he's talking about oh the yeah, they, they do show him doing a faster. A faster version of riding the Vanity Fair, yeah. Right. Nice, Ellen. Yes, yeah, I heard. Yeah, Rick is a Rick is always a good show. Um, Danny and Sean seem to be extremely hands on with their parents' estates. Which of Paul's kids seems to yeah. be most likely involved in the future? What do you think, partner? Mary, no, Stella. I, 
maybe, may, maybe James. I mean, listen, Mary and Stella, they have their own careers, you know. And yeah. You know, Heather, Heather's no longer wants any part of the limelight. Could um, be James. So I, he's I, the I, young. He's well, or B, or or it could be Beatrice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Don't know. You know, the politics of the of the Beatles kids and stuff is beyond our purview. You know. Whatever makes them happy and successful, good for them. But we're we're fans of their their fathers and their and their music, you know. Um, all all you know, all due respect to the Beatles' children and what they want to do. It's that's their lives and good for them. But we're not we're not chronicling them. We're chronicling their fathers. <laughs> Here's a great analogy: riding to Vanity Fair was Paul's "How do you sleep?" Perhaps. Yeah. Good take on that, Kevin. I like that. Um, well, I mean, yeah, Ted. I mean, when it comes to wanting, you know, wanting to know, you know, who who the um, person in question is, uh, I mean, that's that's kind of the way <laughs> kind of his, uh, you know, you're so vain. Uh, you know, we're we're not gonna know apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I like twin. I like twin freaks. We did a show on twin freaks with our friend, uh, the Queen Kittle Tool. We did, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. a year or two ago. Yeah, maybe two. Two, two. Yeah, for sure. Um, John's activism had had a, had a had a big impact. Plus, I'd already imagined. Yeah, probably. Although I think George George is getting up there with My Sweet Lord and All Things Must Pass these days. Did anybody see on PBS uh, the concert for George was on again this weekend? I know that um, Ken uh, Ken Michaels mentioned that, and it was a hard day. You know, and so it's it's like The Godfather when it's on, you just have to watch it. You know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not totally convinced that uh, writing the Vanity Fair is about uh, Heather. No, but I'll bet you that Hell to Pay from the bonus track on on New was about was about her. <laughs> uh, yeah. Songs called Hell to Pay. Who do you think he was talking yeah. about? And he had just gotten divorced. I forgot if writing the Vanity Fair is in See if it's in. See, look, look it up. Look it up. I did like the Stephen Will, uh, Wilson remixes of the S albums. Other than the artwork changing on them. I didn't like the artwork changing on the vinyl. That I didn't like. But, man, the nuances that you can hear of like things like Steve Howe's guitar or something buried, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it a lot. I just, when I heard about Talk getting re-released today in a box set, I was just like, huh, I couldn't believe it. The only R song in the lyrics book is, is riding, riding, or is Rocky Raccoon. Okay. Uh, this loving game has got to be about Heather too. Interesting. We, okay, Block, good good comment. We have tried. I reached out to Andrew uh, a few weeks back, and he's just too busy. Um, if you don't know this channel or subscribe to it, please do. He is one of the gold standards of, you, of Beatles YouTubers. He is from the UK. His videos are produced so well, so professionally. You know, I get a little bit jealous when I watch them because they're done so damn well because he... You know, he, he really takes the time and post-production into producing his videos. But we have tried. I would like to try to get him on here. He's He didn't say no. He's just a little too busy right now. But he's on the radar. Really, Henry? A three-second song with no? Come on. Now, that's, now you're just being a clown. Come on. Uh, hey, Paulina. Paulina! Haven't seen you in a while. Well, we haven't been live for a while. No. Yeah. He's he's awesome. Okay, Jody's uh, Patty's auction. Did you know that Patty was auctioning off letters and stuff like that? Did you see that, Tom? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard they, they, I mean, it went off better than what they uh, were expecting. So good on her. And she's been a fest uh, attendee for the last year or two. She's been a regular. Um, Josh, we'll see you, mate. Thanks for popping on, thank and keep, thanks for repping the yeah. Two Legs brand out there on the West Coast. Yes, thank you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, obviously somebody made a mention about the number nine. Well, Marcus, I mentioned that uh, nine being uh, number nine being on the Rolling Stone list is wild. Right. Eh. Yeah. I mean, we, we talked about that uh, that list two weeks ago, so if you haven't checked out that episode, please do. Um, but listen, listen. It's, a, it's, an, it's an iconic song. Should it be in the top ten? Yes. Should it be in the top five? Maybe. But again, that was just his opinion. I his list, as we stated biggest, in that show. It was yeah, his list, yeah. just like Tom's list is unique to Tom, and my yeah. list is unique to me. Somebody actually commented on our on one of our most recent videos about because I think we both scoffed at the inclusion of my Valentine. Did you see that comment? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I respond to it, but listen, I, I, I you know, I he said he well, and then Joan Joan ahead, Joan commented too. Joan said, "I'll dance with you guys at to any Macatune anytime." Did you see that? Yeah. That was great. Yeah, um, this chap 18 hours ago. My Valentine is a classic Paul McCartney song, love song. Why would you hate on that song so much? I almost had to turn off the video when you scoffed that selection. Well, guy, that's what they made power off and switch off for. Turn us off. You don't have to, <laughs> have to go that far, buddy. But listen, uh, that's why I, I try to also, while, while I'm criticizing, I also try to be positive in a kind of a way because I know just because... I don't like the song doesn't mean someone else isn't going is, is isn't going to like it. So I mean I try to keep that in mind. Okay? I'm not going to, you know, kick something while it's down. I'll tell you I won't I, I don't like it, but I won't kick it while it's down because I know there's I know that albums or songs they do have their audiences and and that's great if you like something I think that's awesome. Right. But we don't like it. You know, and we didn't we don't like the choice and that's our show. So we we have the right to say that and you and have the right. And as much as I don't like the song, I mean, I've seen them perform it three times now, and, and I have yet to go to the bathroom during that song. So, right. So there you go. I mean, I don't like it, but you know what? I'm still gonna watch them do. You're it. not. You're not going. You're not going to get a beer or going to the bathroom. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Paul's video with Roger. Uh, he was talking about the oh Roger's teenage cancer trust. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Which obviously Raj is a big Raj is big on that over there in the UK, and those of you who freaks out there, Pete says that they still might do one final tour. <laughs> Believe it or not, their first farewell tour was in 1982. Just so you know. Yeah. Yes, Bill, I agree. I agree too, but again, it'll make your list, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's and not Joe, my song, and it's our show, so you can shut up. So have a nice day. Joe, Joe is, uh, his anniversary is tomorrow, so I'm sure they're gonna, he's going to be uh, so, slow dancing with him. So, Joe, Him's slow dance to my Valentine and my love till the sun comes up. Salut. Frickin' song. You need to calm down, buddy. <laughs> I am calm. Uh, hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I go again. Tom, you haven't seen the Who, right? At what point? At, no, but I mean, at what point is enough enough? You know what I mean? You wouldn't be if this was Paul. You wouldn't be saying this. I, I, I do say it for Paul. I, I mean, what point is enough enough? You know, at what point do, do we have to continue paying hundreds of dollars to go see these acts live? You know, and we and we do it. We're all sheep. We all line up for them. You know, it, I mean, at what point is it? Do we finally say, OK, you know what, guys, stop. Thank you for the 50, 60 years that you gave us. But you know what? Uh, you know what? That's it. I can't do it anymore. Well, they're not they're not going to be able to do it anymore. They're almost 80. Yeah. And I don't think Roger wants to do it anymore, but you know. Yeah. And you're going to go see you're going to go see, you know, holograms of the Who and the Stones. I want, I don't I'm not going to see any hologram of anybody including Paul McCartney. You no. No. I have no interest of I have no interest nah. in the hologram. Nope. 
Ooh, thoughts of Philip Norman as a writer. There I'm you gonna, go. That's you, buddy. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna quote Armaca Arcade and call him Norma Phillips. Not a fan. <laughs> don't like him. Don't endorse anything he's written. Utter shite, as they say over there. Shite. Yep. Yeah. Not a fan. <laughs> yep, he wrote a book on uh, John. He wrote a book on Paul, and you know, so yeah. yeah no. I still need to. I still need to get the one that he did for George. You know. Yeah. I'll get there. I'd rather read the comics in the in the, in the newspaper if they still do those. Yeah. Yep, yeah, but. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Henry. Maybe. Oh, top ten. Easily. For me, Tom. It's in the top, it's, it's in the top half of, of, of his catalog. For me, I think. You know, the thing is, is we we did our, we uh, what, for his 80th birthday, we did, uh, yeah, there you go. Don't norm as a parasite. We, for his 80th right birthday, on, James. We, we spent three hours ranking his canon. Um, and I, you know, I, to this day, I can't, I, all I remember is Ram was number one and I can't remember where I put anything else. And if mm. we were to do it again tomorrow, I would, I'm sure I would have a different list. Of course. But I had a good time doing that. Yeah. Someone tells Dylan he needs to stop. Dylan ain't stopping. It's, it's called a never ending tour for a reason. It'll stop when he's not breathing anymore. Mike Narr, are you going to go see ELO in September when they're in New York? I'm sure you will. Tom and I were talking last night. Just floor seats for, for Madison Square Garden, six dollars $700. Uh, oh, Kelly asked this earlier. We missed it. Okay. Um, we don't really rank cold cuts because it never came out. I wouldn't rank it. I can't. How how could you rank it better than an official album? Could you do that? I mean, no, probably not. Probably not. I mean, um, what's the uh, what what do yeah. we call the uh, return to Pepperland? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't think it would, it would be better than that. No, you can't. It's hard because it was it it was it was never fully realized, and you can't rank that above hell, even flowers in the dirt or something else like that. You know, you just can't. They were. I, I was at that show at Radio City in 2016 also. Henry, have you ever seen the YouTuber Elliot Roberts video of ranking all of Paul's albums? He had almost a million views. No. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen. I think I did see it. Yeah. Maybe. I have and, to see. And, you know, and, and it's, I just, it, you know, and I'm not, you know, saying this out of jealousy or anything like that. It, 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 but it is funny you know, I mean, when somebody just comes out of the blue and does a video like that, and then all of a sudden it's, you know, 100,000, 200,000, you know, a million, a million views, you know. Um, Why aren't we? <laughs> Why come our song? Well, yeah. Yeah. we try. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, he's done it. He's done it for, for, I don't know if he's done Ringo or not, but I know he's done. Uh, John Paul and, and, and George. Mm. He's ranked all of their all of their albums. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been on for about an hour hey. and change, so hey, yeah. you can you can go back and rewatch it if you like. Yep, yep. Um let's see your tickets in the US are higher than they are here, but um yeah, they are they are. I mean especially these ELO prices. I mean, that's the thing I was we were talking about Andy and I were talking about this. This is like you was mentioning of the cost of these, but he's announcing it as a Phil Wirth tour, and I think that's going to, you know, that's that's part of that is going to is going into the cost. I mean, we're I mean, supposedly never going to see ELO again, right? In, to, in tour, so of course they're going to, you know, charge as much as they think they can get out of people. It's like what was it the beginning of last year when we when we thought that Paul was going to yeah. be they announced that fake the end right yeah, remember that that's right yeah and then yeah. you were like there was no way that he's just going to announce yeah. the end no yeah. way right Kyle Hand our buddy 
Hey, man. How you doing, Mr. Hand? Yes. A surprise live stream on a Monday night. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Kyle knows. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Good to see you, man. Thanks for popping on. We're, yeah. Man, another new one too. Woo. It I'm still like getting used Dylan to rough McCartney and rowdy ways. Yeah, it seems like Dylan McCartney have been releasing albums on the same same you know year. Well, close. I mean, McCartney three was 2020. Yeah, then and, and rough and rowdy ways yeah. was 2020. So yeah. 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, well, Tony, that's, you know, better late than never, brother. Yep. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, he's not going to announce the last show. He's not going to do that. What would the last song be? be? Yeah, yeah. What would the last song be? Well, I mean, it will probably be what he's been doing for the last couple years. Golden Slumbers. Yeah. There was a way. Yep. And that whole medley. Yeah. So. I mean, and what better way to end the show, I think, than than that phrase? You know. You know, the love you make is equal to the love you take. I mean. Uh, yeah, it's a perfect ending to a concert. It really is. Yeah. As many times as we heard it, <laughs> that's. Good. It uh, is the so, best. Yeah. Mm, not no, now. No. Not I, now. I think the uh, yeah, I think the um, the appeal of that is is, is kind of over. That's waned, yeah. Especially hearing Dylan sing um, uh, what's the what's the damn song he does on uh, the Art of McCartney? Uh, oh, things we said today. Things we said today, yeah. He doesn't sing that. Very well. No. <laughs> but then you know McCartney's not not the singer he once was. Either. No. Nope. Well, I mean, uh, let's see here. Henry says, you know, what, you know, we've been great at Paul and Freddie Mercury collaboration. Well, there was supposed to be one. There was. Um, yeah. Once upon a long ago. Was supposed right. To was be, supposed uh, to be. Yeah. 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 And we also, we know, thanks to Luca Parazzi, there was going to be a Peter Gabriel and McCartney collaboration right. there. Um, Politics of Love, I think was the name of the song. Yeah. Politics of love, yeah. Right, but it didn't go anywhere. Um, sometimes these guys are so big that it just doesn't work. You know, you're a megastar in your own right. You're a megastar in your own right, and you, it just, it just doesn't work. You know, um, Ralph, I don't know that, that that they, I was a guest on their show. Oh, didn't they? Didn't they have one for the Steve Hackett? Um... Album with the one with the wet, the, the orco coming out of the water. Yeah, they probably have. Or, um, I was a guest on, so I was a guest on with them along with Marv uh, on on his show. A uh, few pods like us. on pods like us um, a few weeks back. If you go back, where I'm on that with those guys. Um, they have slowed their their pace down, but they they haven't given it up, and they're they're Jersey guys too. Um. Kyle, my man with the ideas. Album by album review, but with a guest. Podcast or author. Who says it's their favorite McCartney album? Ken Michaels, Flowers in the Dirt, etc. Well, Ken Michaels' favorite album is Press to Play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Good no, idea. Flowers in the Dirt. No, no, no. His Wait. favorite Paul album is Flowers in the Dirt. It's not Press to Play? Because, man, he, he no. gives that album a lot of love. Yeah, he does, but it, it is Flowers in the Dirt. Okay, so um, I like that idea, Kyle. We'll put him on the retainer. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do have a new series coming up, coming, mm -hmm. and but we, I mean, we're not like say a flower. Exactly what it is? Yeah, we we're not going to say exactly what it is at the moment, but um, uh, it's kind of something similar. I'll just say that. Yeah. What do you say, partner? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well. You know, we really appreciate you all being here. We had, we had over 60 people uh, at one point, and uh, this was our first live chat in a while. Um, we're going to try to do this more often. Um, yeah, he's a super fan. Listen. And that's okay. I'll, I'll tell you, Kyle, I discovered uh, things we said today in 2012, and then I discovered his radio station. 
I'll tell you, uh, everyone listening, Ken Michaels is one of the inspiration. Things we said today was one of the inspirations for me to do this show. So um, that being said, I, I love his enthusiasm for all things Beatles and solo Beatles. But um, that being said, we're going to try to do more live stuff. Um, like Andy said, we're going to, you know, we, we don't usually drop a show at the, at the beginning of the month. We try to take that first weekend of the month off. So we think maybe we're going to try to do some kind of live shows at some point. Um, we're going to, we're still working out the details on that. So we hope to do that. Okay. So, uh, I'll listen to party in here. I listen, I know we, we were also doing anniversary, uh, stuff last year. We, hopefully we can try to get, you know, that um going again but uh again it's just you know our, my my schedule uh in life is a lot different than it was last year so uh you know to to for andy and our schedules to to mesh um it's a little it's a little bit tougher these days um but we're going to um do our best and uh the, the, show, the show, the show, and yeah. yeah, the show, and pumping out new content. You know, three out of the four Saturdays or four out of the five Saturdays. That's our. We want to have new shows just about every week. You know, and and we that and you know, I think once in a blue blue moon we have to take a week off, but it doesn't happen too often. So, right. the show and the original content on Saturdays at now seven p.m. is we want to stick to that. And and given that where Tom and I are at, you know, personally, we have you know we have commitments that we have to adhere to personally professionally family wise and stuff so what you know we, we we did live a lot a couple of years back and we're going to try to do it more we enjoy it just like you guys do i mean it's great yeah. 60 people on here talking and exchanging ideas yeah. and throwing out questions which is what we love yeah we absolutely love that so keep them coming so we will you know in the future we'll got we'll let you guys know when we're going live and we hope to do that again yep. um you know soon uh so for that um, we want to we want to say thank you for everybody that has joined us here. You know, again, you know, MVP, thank you for for everything that you do. Um, everybody out there, you know, wherever you guys were, where what Uruguay, right? Uh, UK, uh, California, uh, wherever you guys are at, we really thank you for 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 coming on here and chatting with us. And we'll see you guys soon. Andy, anything else you wanna you wanna chime in with before we go? No, that's it, brother. It was really great and fun and exciting to do a live show again, and really, I, I enjoyed it. It's been a it's been a minute, and yeah. I loved it. And then we'll yeah. try to do it again on Saturday. Yeah. All right. So everybody out there, again, have a great day, and a beautiful night. See ya. Take care.